Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ori and the Will of the Wisps. We are oh, relatively deep inside the uh, Moldwood Depths, which turned out to be very different than what I expected. And, uh, well, not exactly more pleasant, but definitely more interesting. Now, um, after last episode I actually looked at the map a little bit, and it seems like, yeah, I was not expected to, or not supposed to go down there quite yet. My expectation is that we're going to free that light spirit up there, or light, well, um, firefly, I guess is the, the normal term. And that's going to fly over that way, and the opening that the map shows over to the right was a one-way barrier that, of course, we can't break, break from this side. Um, now, how... I guess I can shoot it. Yeah. I have a... Oh, <laughs> not like that. I have a variety of projectiles at my disposal, like so. And, yep, yeah, that's going to go down here. And we are gonna follow it. Collect this light here. Very nice. Right. Oh, don't. Just ignore that guy. Don't need to worry about him at all. Okay, okay. Don't fizzle yet, though. So just me, or is this one lasting longer than earlier ones? Oh, of course, I had to say something. Wait. No, don't. All right, fine. Oh no, now we're completely in the dark. And we'll have to collect two spirit, uh, two, two keystones. That's the word. Well, let's do it then. I hear things in the dark. Of course, you also see things in the dark because everything here glows. Oh, yeah, sure. Grab this gross cocoon thing. I don't need I don't even need mana. I don't know why I was trying so hard to get that. Uh, can I Oh. Huh. Were you trying to trick me there, buddy? Let me grab that real quick. I'm probably gonna die for it. Oh, it didn't die. Nice, nice. And I actually got both fragments. I'm not too worried about not fully exploring any of these dark areas. Because obviously we're going to gain the ability to just create light, right? So, uh, yeah. As soon as we have that, we can obviously go ahead and freely re-explore everything. Make sure that we're not missing out on anything. <clears throat> oh, wow. Rude. I guess there is this platform for a reason. Um, not sure where to go. My guess would be... That progress is probably downwards, but if I can do something up here, I absolutely will. Uh oh. Thankfully, the light radius for these fireflies is pretty generous. Uh oh. That being said, I'm also. Oh, wait, that's the way back up. <laughs> I'm just an idiot. Okay. Uh, well, that's not exactly helpful. Is there something I can do? Actually, I might be able to. Mm, no, no, I'm just gonna die. I did not realize that I was just going back up. And I didn't save, apparently. So, well, I guess I'm glad. This is the one time where I'm glad that, that my progress was not saved at some point along the way. So this fly is just for... Oh, wait. No, it's going down. Oh, yeah, okay. Of course. The one that went up was the one that I activated above. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Ooh, uh... Blind jump! Ouch. Huh. Even the collectible spirit light here serves as as light to protect me from the dark. I mean, yeah, literally anything that lights up, that physically lights up the visible area, protects me from the darkness. It's not like it needs to be something, some special kind of light source. It just needs to be any kind of light source. It should be obvious, but I don't know, I didn't fully realize that until just now. Um, okay. Can't pull that out. Oh, wait. Hmm. Yeah, I know that there is... Oh, God. That there is a life cell up there. I feel like uh, I should be able to get, probably. It seems like it's pretty close. I'm trying to get to the other side of this thing here. Like so. Ooh, okay, nice. 
course, by, col uh, by collecting the lifestyle fragment, I also remove its light, which uh, is uh, now going to, well, possibly cause me to die. Maybe not, though. Let's see. There's things above. Oh, nice. I was able to save myself. So, uh, is there something over here? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Okay. Let's trust the game. Of course, it's only showing me oh, tiny little... Oh. Lit up areas, omitting other areas, and thereby. Oh no, that's not. Oh wait, was that the? Oh. Oh wait, this wasn't here before. This wasn't here before. There was just a light. There was this thing hadn't spawned, I guess. Right? Or am I crazy? No, this is definitely exactly right, right here. <laughs> so, well, that's really interesting. Huh. Um. Hmm. You know what? Screw that life cell fragment. I can get it later when I'm actually supposed to. Now this. Hmm. Is that a thing I can break from the side? It totally is. And I died though. Weird. I mean, again, obviously that's also not something I'm supposed to do. No! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna worry about the life cell. I'm not gonna worry about whatever that is up there. I mean, it's a shortcut to somewhere, obviously. Yeah, it's actually just leading back to an area I was... I was at before, so... No need to... Oh, it's just... This looks like it could be the spirit tree area, but maybe not. Ancestral tree or whatever it's called. I don't know. Maybe not. Looked like it might... Like this might open up into one of those big, well-lit areas. But maybe not. Oh wow, I actually managed to miss that? Huh. I guess I wasn't aware that uh, really only the, the head of the, the energy hammer was dealing damage. Um, well there's... Something up here. Something I'm not necessarily expected to reach right now. Oops. Okay. Um. Oh, hey. Look at this. Huh, I guess I could start the trial? If I wanted to? Hmm. How difficult would that be? It's not a very long path. Oh, I suppose I could give it a try. It, of course, it's possible that it's going to become a lot easier once I have the, the light ability. Hmm. I'm not sure. And then there are at least two ways to go. Where are you going? You're going over this way. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I have found... Oh, wait. Can I even return? Yeah. I think I can. Oh. Right. I have to jump above that. Yeah, I can definitely go here easily enough. Hmm. Sure. Might as well. Last one did go all right, all things considered. Right, we go along here. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm probably not gonna have my uh, fireball ability, right? <laughs> because if I get to keep that, I probably don't. But if I get to keep that, of course, I can massively shortcut. Yeah, no, I don't have any abilities. That makes a lot more sense. Oh, well, nothing except the ones that you know. The game gives you automatically, of course. So I have to go this unknown path. Oh no! Wait! That's bad. That's super bad, actually. Oh god, I. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I go up from here. And I took way too much damage already. Yikes. Mm, I mean, I guess I can try. Sure. Okay. 
Yeah, he skips that as well. Wow. Wait. Oh, I died in the darkness, of course. It wasn't even the spikes that killed me. Nope. Don't go up there. This loses, loses me a lot of time. Oh, he just... Wait. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, he's being smart about it. Unlike me. Uh, so he dashes past the thing and pulls it down from from the right side. My god. So unfortunately, without the ability to skip all of that rightmost loop... Um, This is a pretty long one, a pretty long section. Okay, he pulls it down like that. Oh god. Uh, wait. Okay. Accidentally, coincidentally, took the right the right path there. Pulls that down. No, he doesn't actually. <gasps> wait. <gasps> I <laughs> cheesed it. Cheesed it so hard. I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god. I, wow, that could have gone, that could have gone, uh, that could have not worked very easily. I could have just get, get knocked down by the spikes here, but man, am I glad it worked out. Holy hell. Whew. Oops. Um, wait. In that case, whoops, uh, why didn't I grab that? I have no idea. Grab that real quick, and do I get a, a quick save somewhere? Checkpoint, I mean. Because last time it wasn't saved. Okay, now it's saved. Yikes. <laughs> Major yikes. Wait, couldn't I have made it over here? I, okay, I could have during the trial, even without any abilities. But of course, then without the fireball... You cannot make it uh, higher. Uh, make it up from there. Oh, okay, so a single fireball is not enough. That's kind of what I thought, because the uh, fire damage is taking down rather slowly. Huh. So I guess at that one time I must have hit the hive with something else, some kind of collateral damage for it to die. Or maybe I, sh I did shoot two fireballs and just forgot about it. Who knows? Anyway, well, that's. Um, I'm so glad I was able to get this. The way I did, and when I did, uh, I just absolutely lucked out on that, uh, yeah. Well, uh, now we're probably supposed to go, well, maybe down here? Ooh, okay. That kind of works out somewhat. Ouch. Uh, uh oh light please, thank you. Oh, uh, sure, I'll take this. Spirit Surge. Um, the question is whether I'll make it out of here alive, but we'll see. You've gained a new Spirit Charm. Deal more damage the more Spirit Light you have. Oh, okay, well, that's an endgame ability. Or, you know, something for people who don't like to actually buy stuff with their money. Which is me IRL, but, um, of course, in the game, I definitely want to spend my stuff, uh, spend my money on, on all the various things that you can buy. Okay, whew, actually made it out of there. I mean, it's an interesting thing to have, for sure. And if I, once I have bought everything, and, you know, nothing else to spend my money on, I might as well use that. Spirit Surge, it's not even... Okay, Grant's bonus damage caps at 3,000, and the next one caps at 6,000, okay. So, it's not even, since it is capped, I guess technically I could just, you know, not spend everything, and still get the full bonus. Uh, interesting, as I said. But obviously right now I don't have enough for that to matter. For the bonus to really matter. Oh, okay. Oh, hey there. <laughs> you are hanging out in a very, very unpleasant and dangerous place, my friend. Psst, hi, does this place give you the creeps or is it just me? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's it's really giving me more than just the creeps. It's, it's extremely deadly. On the one hand, the darkness that came with the decay sure is eerie. On the other, I think I prefer the dark to whatever it's hiding. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. I... I get the feeling. Um... Yes. Much obliged. I was actually just looking at my money and thinking, oh, hey, I, I'm richer than I thought I was. So, in theory, I would be getting some sort of bonus. Oh, interesting. Wait. I keep forgetting the, that whenever the map opens after purchasing a map, it's not the actual real map. Okay, so there's this. There's a shrine over here. We haven't seen one in a long time. I feel... Have we... What, was there even a combat shrine? No, there wasn't. There wasn't a shrine in, in the entirety of uh, Luma Pools. Interesting. Most other areas had one, didn't they? Uh, actually, looks like Boss Reach didn't have one either. Okay, never mind then. Huh. Yeah, anyway, uh, this one does, so that's neat. I think that's even going to give us the final slot, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I think it said that we had something out of eight at some point, so... Yeah, one more shard slot. <clears throat> and only two more spirit shards to find, actually. It's also... Uh, well, it's what it is. It's not... <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. Interesting to know that we are that we only have two more to go, I guess. Um, right. Yeah, so I am surprisingly rich. Um, so I could technically get the bonus of the, you know, from that shark we just found. But still, I don't feel like I really need to deal that much more damage. Um, the other interesting thing, of course, is that uh, we are very close to the ability. That is very reassuring to know. Okay, so, uh, yeah. In other words, we're gonna head on over there and hopefully never have to worry about the darkness killing us again. I'm not ashamed to say you're a welcome sight. There's only, only so much gloom and doom I can take, even in the name of map making. What? Oh. Dang it. Six limbs at most. That's reasonable, right? Dang it. Please repeat. You're welcome, sight. Okay. You know what I like? Arms and legs. Two of each, to be precise. Some swords have four legs and two arms, and you know, I'm fine with that. Six limbs at most. That's reasonable, right? More than that, we have a problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely get where he's coming from. Um, okay. Now... Yeah, there's nothing down here but death, of course. I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, and he's gone. Right, we do have our map, though. That's the important part. Surprising uh, to see him... Or I'm surprised to see him gone. I don't remember... I don't remember him leaving the place um, after purchasing maps from him before. Okay, made it here, and yep, that is... Exactly where we want to be. Uh oh, except uh, it's way too dark here. Uh, excuse me? Is there... Is there a uh, firefly? Or something? There pretty much has to be... Oh, yeah, I think there is, isn't there? Come to think of it. There might be one all the way over here. Yeah, okay. So we're supposed to take that one all the way with us, or follow it all the way over here. I mean, yeah. I don't need it up to this point. But I will need it from here on out. Right. Chose us that thing that I'd prefer not to touch, but oh well. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice. Surprising and fortunate lack of spikes. Okay, that was not nearly as bad or long as I thought. Yes, absorb that light. Flash! Hmm, hold, okay. Uh, create an aura of light that damages enemies, drains energy. I was really hoping f for the light source to be something more permanent. Something that's just active, but oh well. Wishful thinking. Okay. And that, yeah, almost fills out our ability wheel here. Yeah, I guess I'll go with this. Oh, okay, that's active. 
Oh, and it... Okay. Now I see. It drains energy while, while it's active. Very slowly, though. Okay. That seems alright. That seems... I think I can work with that. So you just activate it. A light aura. And technically you can save some energy by just activating it briefly. Wait, this is not smashable? No, I guess the map doesn't show it as being smashable, so... Why would it be? I mean, it's not eating energy very fast, but it still does consume it constantly. Um, even when we're standing in a lit area, of course. Okay, well... Uh, wait. Oh, we got this. Yeah, yeah. Right, this is the area that I was thinking of. Hmm. Well... I guess I'll make my way... Hmm. Or would it be easier to go from the save point? Actually, it might be. Yeah, it's definitely easier. Um, you know what? Hmm. Uh, well, we're 21 minutes in. Okay. What I am going to do, since I was going to uh, teleport to that well anyway, I'm going to teleport to town instead. And... I'm going to explore that cave. And that might be just be a super short segment and if so I might end up making my way to that uh, to the shrine here or maybe do some exploration in this area or something else but uh, well we'll see also what is this again uh, find someone in need of light wait oh right yeah that quest forgot about that well we now have a light source uh, would prefer to go in with full energy but We'll see. Okay, there is actually a refill here. For good reason, probably. Okay, uh, well, here goes nothing. Okay, okay. I mean, this place doesn't even have a map, so I'm assuming it's not going to be super, super massive, but... Who knows? Also, no enemies or really any obstacles. So it seems like the real challenge is just to... Oh, there's the acorn, the acorn that we were told about. Can we... There we go. Heart-shaped acorn. Quest item. Precious gift given to a timid Noki. Hmm. So is it not a gem that we... A gem. Uh, is it not a thing that we plant? Who knows? I was also going to say that uh, there's probably not going to be any collectibles here, since there is no map, and this was... Well, I don't know. Hmm. What? Oh, I'm... What? Do I have my aura active? I do. It just... It got so... It grew so dim, just for... For swimming into this corner, that I thought it was... That I was about to die there for a second. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway. Yeah, no, I guess there are no collectibles. This is probably just the way out. Oh, that leads up here. Huh, interesting. So, technically, I could have shortcut... Well, I still uh, needed the light to survive, but... I think I could have used my fireball... Light burst... To just swim, uh, jump up there, if I had known about it. Of course. And, of course, I can deactivate this now. Hey, buddy. Your acorn. Yes, I found it. I will never let it go again. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well then, thanks. Into the darkness, complete. Hmm. Huh. Alright, well, uh, quest complete. That's neat. Uh, I w really was expecting another seed, but uh, I guess we'll have to find those two remaining ones somewhere else. Hmm. We might find one in here, and then maybe another one up here. I don't know, have we found a seed per area so far? I don't know. I can't tell. It's also worth noting, I guess, that um, by virtue of having the Luxa Fragments on the map now, um, we now know that there is some area up here, which, you know, otherwise I would have expected that just because of the large empty space here, but... Um, hmm. 
yeah, obviously we don't know about any any path leading in this direction, do we? Hmm. I don't think so. So I wonder what this is going to be. Probably the final area of the game, if I had to guess. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, that um, dark cave ended up not being very big at all. Kind of what I expected. So um, I guess now I'm going to make my way back here and do something. I guess I can try getting to the combat train. Sure, why not? I mean, getting there shouldn't be too big of a problem. Right, first we just go down. There, activate the light before I die. Oh, ouch. Grab some extra fuel. Like so. Is this the right direction? Yes, it is. Okay, still going down. Right, I remember this place. I don't really remember this place though. Oh, okay, this is just a hidden passage. Not very hard to find at all. Oh, this place is also lit up. Good, good, good. Um, yeah, not very hard to find, except that, of course, while you're while you're constantly in danger of dying from the darkness, you don't really have the time to look around, even for easy things. Easy to find things. Hey, buddy, uh, surprised to, f uh, to see a Moki down here. Hello there, spirit. Is that an empty lantern you have? Indeed. I can use that to trap these fireflies. I can go home. Uh, can I please have a firefly lantern? That sounds convenient. Because it, it shouldn't consume any energy. Hmm. Here, you may have this. Getting it was very tricky and sticky. Uh, what is it? You. Is that it? Hmm, okay. Not a cocoon, at least. Moldwood silk. The fine oh, it's a thread for the fisherman. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I would use spider silk for a fishing pole, but... I guess it might do the trick. In a video game, at least. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I just happen to know such a person. Now, which way was I going? This way? No. Uh, yeah, you should try this direction here. Hmm. I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Alright. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. Just going... Going over, over like this would have been too easy. I expected as much. Ow. Oh, you did die. I guess he... I guess I did get his drops. <clears throat> um, I'm also a little bit damaged, but that's fine. I think. Oh, and there is darkness. Darkness underwater. Can I please? Thank you. Okay. Uh, activate? Light aura? Can I not activate that underwater? Oh, I guess I can. Well, that's a bit inconvenient. There we go. Hmm. No big deal, I suppose. Huh? Was that glowing there before? Oh, the aura is damaging enemies, isn't it? At least it's supposed to be. Huh. Nice. I don't need to destroy that at all, but I did it anyway. Okay, nice. This was not on the map. Nope. No, well, kind of. Actually, mostly on the map. <laughs> Wobble. Wait. Do I want to go? No, this is where I came from. Nothing in there. Just some air bubbles. For those unfortunate to come here without the ability to breathe underwater. Okay. I hope that's not temporary, but we'll see. Ow. Oh no! I, I'm dying. Why am I dying? Because uh, I guess that cutscene ended up. Okay, please. It's so hard to tell what's uh, foreground and background here. Yeah, uh, I didn't realize my aura was deactivated. I'm guessing that the cutscene did that. Ah, nice. Uh, it is pretty satisfying to just see things dying around me, just because of this 
this aura. I mean, it doesn't deal a ton of damage, but it's pretty nice. There we go. Okay, give me some health. Heal me completely. And I tried to attack him there and just wouldn't. All right. Um, I mean, I suppose I could let this, uh, could leave this active to deal some extra damage, huh? Sure, why not? Okay, we got some spiders. Yes, nice, nice. So a single hit, plus one or two hits from my aura. We'll finish them off. Oh, I guess I hadn't hit you before. Yeah. Fair enough. Heal. Well, he exploded twice. Okay, right now I'm absolutely wrecking things. I almost feel a bit bad for them. Almost. Not really, of course. Okay. Get out of here, spider. Okay, we got a more dangerous spider, but actually they don't seem to have more health, really. Oh, that's it? That was the final wave? Seriously? That was... extremely, extremely easy. Wow. Okay. Got a bunch of achievements there for, well, probably doing all the combat shrines and... <laughs> yeah, probably one achievement for getting all the combat shrines and one achievement for unlocking all the shard slots, which is kind of redundant because you can't do one without the other, but... I'm not complaining. I mean, I guess I might as well equip even more damage since I now have an extra slot to use. Sure, why not? And it should be capped right now, right? Can I quickly see my my money? Well, I can by going over here. 4,000, yeah. Of course, as soon as I buy something, I'm not going to get the full bonus, but it's not like I need it or anything. Okay, that's cool. Um... Probably done down here. 78% completion for the area. We know that there is something left to explore over here. Oh, in fact, I might have missed. Mm, no, if I did, if I had missed any any actual collectibles, they would still they would be on the map, right? In the areas that I have been to. I I feel like I pa like I consciously passed by a couple of things that I saw in the darkness and just you know didn't have the time to stop and investigate. So, I probably want to go through this area with my light aura on once, but uh, hmm. anyway, for now, I'm going to fast travel back to the save point, and I'm going to call it an episode here. We, uh, oh, we did get the light source, right? I'm, in my mind, the, the, the episodes I've recorded today kind of blending into each other, but yeah, this one, this is the one where we got the light ability, so that's really cool. We did finally get closure on this, uh, on the dark cave here, and we got the acorn. Right, yeah, that quest is done. Uh, I, said, hmm. I could go head on over here and talk to the Moki. He's right there. He's literally right there. Okay. I don't know why I feel like I need to do something else. I did cross the half hour mark that I do tend to aim for for these episodes, but in reality I find myself usually going over, so oh well. I mean, it's super easy. Literally right here. Hey, buddy. Wait, is that string? Uh, a kind of string, yeah. Again, not the best suited for fishing line, but oh well. Where'd you find that? Oh, you don't want to know. I could make a net fit for the finest fisher, Moki. I will give you this for it. It's my father's old spyglass. Do not worry, he will not need it. He does not sail. He only sleeps and eats. A lot. That is why I need a net. Oh, okay. Spyglass. I have no idea. Made of delicately engraved wood and highly polished crystals. I have no idea who could possibly need that. Find someone who needs a spyglass. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've not run into any such person. Hmm. Which, uh... Might hopefully mean that uh, whoever it is is somewhere in the windswept wastes. 
Oh, there's also the, the Gorlek Miner who wanted something to drink. Hmm. Yeah, well. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I have, haven't, uh, haven't met the person yet who, who would want the spyglass unless I'm, forgetting something. But that does not ring any kind of bell. So, yeah, I guess we're good in that regard. We're probably going to find them eventually. Okay. Probably not down in the multiple depths, but yeah. Anyway, hopefully further down the road. Well. Now that that is out of the way and we <laughs> I managed to add a few more minutes to this episode, I'm I feel like I can wrap this up. Um, so as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.